Hey everybody, this is Demetria McKinney asking you to meet me at the Muni. Meet me at the Muni. The Muni in Forest Park. Fantastic. Hi, I'm Mike Isaacson, the executive producer of the Muni, and I'm here on the West platform with one of our stars of Dreamgirls, Demetria McKinney, who Hi. is playing the part of Dina, and yes. we are so excited you're here. Thank you so and much. And you're a big TV star. I've been, I've been blessed to work a little bit on television. Yeah, no. Yeah. I mean, so, and I was, you know, when we were talked and we talked on the phone, would you come do this? I was like, this girl's done a lot. Thank Have you me. been in the business, like... You're young. You've been you've been working. Maybe seven seven years. Wow. Um, I started with Mr. Perry. Thank goodness for him. He um, saw me doing another play that had about thirty people in the audience, and he picked me up and has kept me working ever since. That's really wonderful. So I did a lot of theater with him, and then we translated over to television with House right. of Pain, which has been in syndication now for the last six mm-hmm. years. And I just finished. Ah, I just finished um, the Ricky Smiley show. Oh, fantastic! Yes, yes. So that'll be airing on TV One in October. Wow. Yeah. So, and that you here's look, here's how we found you. Yeah. Jennifer said, "I know this amazing young woman, and I think she should be Dina." How? Tell me how you knew each other. How did this happen? Miss Holiday has been an inspiration to me for ever. Um, Dream Girls has always been on my playlist, my my bucket list. Yeah. So um, playing the role of Dina was something I'd already always aspired to do. But I saw her, and I was doing a tribute to the original Dream Girls. Okay. So it was Shirley Ralph, it was Loretta Devine, it was her. So me and two other young ladies did this tribute. And prior to that, I had done this show called I Dream, okay. which was an opera based on the life of Dr. Martin Luther King. And I got wow. the opportunity to play Miss Coretta Scott. Wow. She came and saw that. So after we did this tribute for Dream Girls, I sat down. I was all excited because she's about to get up and speak, and she said my name. Tweet. <laughs> Jennifer Holiday just said my name. Where I said it. She said my name again. Oh my God, she did it again. You know, so <laughs> after that, she was so gracious. She was so nice. She came up. She spoke to me, and we had met a couple of other times, but we connected in such a way that was just unfathomable. Yeah. Well, it was funny because when you know we were talking and she was talking about you, she had such um, a profound belief and respect for your talents. I mean, it was really something. And, and she was, you know, she was just saying because you know we were sort of beginning casting after her. She said, "Well, I know this wonderful young woman, blah blah blah. And I think she'd be great." And I was like, "Yeah, I'd be happy to." And I called Robert, and then you and Robert talked on the phone or yeah. something. He called me, he's like, "We have to have her. We have to have her." I was like, "Girl, that was a good phone call," <laughs> you know. <laughs> So, so tell me about, okay, so you have this reverence and love for the show, as yes. we all do. So tell me about Dina. Who is she? Dina is new for me, actually. Um, I've watched the show. I've seen it. I've listened to the soundtrack. I've done all of that. But until I came here, I did not really understand the full depth and the humanity of all of these characters. Mm-hmm. Dina is, is a nurturer. Dina is, is um, a people pleaser, in a sense. Mm-hmm. She's very bright. She's not just on the dreams because of her look. She definitely has a skill. She definitely has talent. But she's the one that likes to play background and kind of push everybody else towards their greatness. Yeah. So when she gets thr- thrust to the front, it's uncomfortable. You know, and of course she grows to like it. Yeah. But the humanity in, in all of these characters is so new, the way that I've gotten a chance to speak with Robert and speak with Miss Holiday and all of them. They've revealed a lot of different layers to these characters. So it's yeah. going to be really exciting. That's great. So play that with you and your career because you have emerged as a star. You're very sweet. You're very pleasant. I mean, how do you balance all that? Uh, when you <laughs> love what you're doing, you don't feel like it's work. Um, doing the sitcoms, doing the shows, doing this, doing everything that I've been blessed to do. And on top of that, having a healthy son. I have a 13-year-old. So just balancing everything comes with just loving what you do. And, And it definitely takes a team effort.